Oh, let's take this package. I'm hoping this is what I think it is. Yes, I knew it is. It is from Clarins. So there's a note attached that they're sending me the products from the Colors of Brazil, Colors of Brazil makeup collection which I believe is their summer, like little summer collection. So this is the um, Clarins Extra Comfort SPF 15 foundation. It comes in a pot and it's, it's like kind of a more um, hydrating foundation if you have like dry skin. Um, but I'm not quite sure if this color is gonna work for me now that I'm looking at it. This is 107 Beige. I believe there are lighter shades available in the United States. I've seen that they do have lighter shades, which is so strange. It's like I live in a country where there are a lot of pale people and they don't have all the shades that are available in the States, um, which is kind of sad, but... And then there's also in here the Colors of Brazil palette. So this is the Eye Quartet and Liner palette. So. This is exciting. Comes in a little pouch. I love this little sort of velvet pouch that their products come in. They're very sort of luxurious looking. And there's the palette. There's actually a design underneath, which you can't really tell. There's the palette. So there's some eye, so there's four, or one, two, three, four, five eyeshadows in here, one of which is a really bright blue. And that's pretty daring for Clarins. Like if you guys know that their products can be kind of more muted, like they don't really have any super, super bright things, like their their color range is gearing more to, to more towards people who don't really like sort of bright makeup. And there's also a coral in here. So I think the blue is actually a cream liner, now that I'm dipping my finger so grossly in it. Um, and the rest look like just powder shadows, while the brown is super pigmented. Holy smokes. Really good color payoff. Um, the the the, uh, the orange is also sort of good color payoff and this this nude one you can't even really see it but it is like there is color there it's kind of like a good it looks like it could be a really good transition color there's some applicators in here I'm just going to grab this blue not super opaque though actually I'm just realizing you have to go over it a few times to get that sort of opaque payoff this is from the limited edition the colors of Rio or sorry, Colors of Brazil. <laughs> There's two more things, ooh, cool. There's the Truly Waterproof Mascara, uh, number zero two. Ooh, look at that. Bright blue mascara, really cool. It looks really blue coming out of it. So that's gonna be interesting to see if it actually transfers this blue onto the lashes. If it does, hallelujah, because I would love to have a blue mascara that looks awesome and that just really transfers. And I've tried a few and none of them have really transferred very well. Zero Two Curacao. Curacao, I think that's how you say it. And then there's also in here the Lip Balm Crayon Color and Comfort. And this is number zero 01 My Pink cute it's one of those sort of pencil okay does that even have any color payoff <laughs> absolutely no color payoff what okay that's that's a bit of a disappointment um this is supposed to be pink and it just looks clear i guess you have to apply a lot but now that i'm building it up like adding a lot i can see that there's like a pink sheen there it has sort of a vanilla caramel scent or something like that so that that is good but the color payoff like it's not opaque so if you you know if you think it's gonna come out like this no it's not so thank you so much to Clarence or to Clarence um, Clarence Switzerland and I am probably gonna do a video with this foundation the extra comfort because I've actually been wanting to try this out for a long time and um, that's really nice that they included it into that package so thank you so much I think this is one that had I've had for a while. This is by La Mer. So there's actually in here the Intensive Revitalizing Mask by La Mer. That is exciting because La Mer is like super expensive. And you know, they have their like the miracle cream. And this is in this is in German, so I'm just trying to translate it into English. So it says that it's against tiredness, stress, and damaging environmental factors. Um, it gives the skin elasticity, um, allows it to glow, and also gives it protection. So, and it also contains the trademarked Miracle Broth, which is a strong combination of antioxidants and marine um, ingredients. 
and it says that it's supposed to work within eight minutes and it makes it look your skin look healthy very like full filled up and very youthful intensive revitalizing mask Ooh, super excitement because I don't really have a good mask I don't really do masks a lot on my face to be honest because I don't I don't really feel like I, I need it, but um, I will definitely try this one. Apply a generous layer to face and neck. Leave on for eight minutes. Wipe away excess with tissue. For optimum results, use daily and follow with your La Mer moisturizer. Daily, that's, that's a lot. I don't think I would use a mask daily. It does have a scent. So it is a scent, I think it is scented, but it definitely has that sort of marine, like algae scent kind of. Hmm, curious. So I will definitely try this because, um, you know, I've heard, I've never bought anything by La Mer because honestly I find their products just so expensive. Um, but I know some people absolutely swear by them. So thank you so, so much to La Mer Switzerland. Um, I can't actually wait to try this mask and, and see what all the fuss is about about this this range so um, you know if it really is doing miracles for some people so I, I can't wait to try this thank you so so much I think there's two more packages one and one let's which one should I do let's do this this thick one because it looks like there's a ton of products on here I do believe that this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills some people say Anastasia some people say Anastasia let's call the whole thing off Oh, I call it the bag that I cannot open. Oh my goodness. First of all, the Amrezi palette. So those of you guys don't know Amrezi, she's a uh, person on Instagram. She just posts like makeup pictures and like style pictures and stuff. She's, I think she has like a million followers or something. And they collaborated with Amrezi to do uh, like a palette together. I've seen pictures of this palette and it looked really pretty. There's the palette. There's just a little foil on top. So it's a warm palette. So if you like sort of warm eyeshadows, um, these are all warm colors in here. Well, sort of the, the brownish neutral shades. So what I like about this palette, I've actually seen this online. What I like is that this side is just like very neutral. Like right here, you could just use this for every day. And then these four shades are kind of deeper shades. Like there's a purple, there's a green, there's a color like called deep plum, which is like a dark brownish purple and then there's um, a black in here so these are sort of more intense and then these are really good for everyday and the pigmentation I've heard is like really good on these so let's just see uh, the purple purple is not quite as intense the emerald is swatching really really strongly I like also this bottom row here um, I'm not sure about the vanilla but these four are matte so I am like a big matte eyeshadow lover so I love the fact that it's not just all shimmers in there Purple one is the only one that right now upon immediate swatching looks like a bit sort of see-through, but the other ones, hmm, let's see this topaz color. That looks like, oh, that looks like MAC Woodwinked. There's also actually a brush in here. I'm thinking this might have been in the palette here. Yeah, I did. So th there was a brush in it. This is so, actually so much better than those other ones that I just threw away, like the sort of the sponge tip applicators. This actually looks like a proper brush. Very promising, like I actually can't wait to use this. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram use this, so uh, very excited. Thank you so much, this is the Amrezi. I'm not sure if this is limited edition or permanent. And let's see, there's also in here the Dip Brow Pomade, which is the product that I'm most excited about to try, to be honest because I have heard so many great things and since Anastasia came out with these dip brows, so many companies have followed suit like Hello Mac. <laughs> they are eyebrow gels. So instead of using like a gel as an eyeliner, it's a gel but made specifically for your eyebrows. To me that sounds very interesting because um, I love gel liners, like eyeliners, and using that on your brows, it has to be a bit of a different consistency. So this is in the shade Dark Brown medium brown and what I actually before when they contacted me I asked them to send me cool tone shades um, I don't like warm brown colors so like cool tone shades this one looks like it could work this is called medium brown it's like an ashy brown soft brown 
So soft brown is definitely a bit more warm toned, but also a lot lighter. So um, that's really nice that they sent me three different colors because like I kind of showed you with the foundation, if they just send one color, the chance of them getting the color right is very slim. <laughs> so the fact that they sent me three different ones is awesome. So then I can hopefully find like a good match with these. Um, I can't wait to try these out. I'll probably do a video on these also because I'm just very curious about them. I've seen so many people on Instagram use them. Yeah, the dip brows, cool. Awesome, thank you. So then there's also in here the Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector. This is in base one, so I'm guessing that this is an eyeshadow base. Okay, that's interesting. I've never had an eyeshadow base like in the shade in the shape of a pencil like that. And this actually looks similar to Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, which is my go-to, um, because it has a yellow tone. That looks really cool. That looks like it would actually really work well because it's quite sticky, but then it sets. Intriguing. I've never seen an eyeshadow base like in the shape of a pencil like that. It's very short though um, Sharpening that a few times you're gonna reach the end of that quite quickly. So That's I guess one drawback, but the, the consistency feels pretty good brow Wiz skinny brow pencil in the shade soft brown um, I actually used the this brow Wiz pencil today in a different shade um and that shade wasn't quite correct for me. This one, I'm hoping, ooh, this is a really good shade. This looks like it'll be a perfect shade for me because it is a cool tone, sort of ashy brown, not too dark, but also not too, too warm, like too caramelly. And I like, cause on the one side, they've got the pencils I showed you, on the other side, they have like a brow groomer, so you can go over your brows. There's also in here the clear brow gel, and I've already, um, I already have this but it's always good to have a backup because I actually really like this brow gel. Um, it comes like in a sort of mascara wand. You put this over top to set your um, brow so that they stay in place. Um, then there's also the Perfect Brow Pencil. See, these ones, I think I already have these ones. This is also the Skinny Brown Pencil in Dark Brown. They have so many products. So the Brow Wiz are more like softer. They're sort of like cream pencils. They're very similar to the MAC Brow Pencils in that you kind of twist them up. Um, you know, they have a twist up function like this, but the pencils like this, they are, you have to sharpen them. And the sharpen up pencils, I think I don't like them as much. I think I've had them before and they're just, they're very, very hard pencils. So the good thing of that is that it stays on a long time because once you have it on, it doesn't smudge very easily. The drawback is that when I'm going over my actual brow hair, sometimes it like rips out hair from my brow. I know that's like crazy, but... That's why I'm not too um, too happy with these ones. But the Brow Wiz, I do really like them. The one that I had just wasn't quite the right color for me. But these ones look like they're a good color match. So I actually can't wait to try this. There's another pencil in here. It's another one of the eyeshadow pencils. And this is in base two. The other one is base one. So there's base one and base two. And base two looks just like a deeper yellow, sort of a more ochre color. This I think would be good on darker skin. You can see it there. There's also in here the contour kit. Super exciting. I have been actually wanting to try their contouring products. I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. Ooh, awesome. This one has a slight shimmer to it. This one is a little bit sort of shimmery, very pretty, like a very sort of vanilla color. And then the rest, these are all matte. And they're actually quite interesting because they can work on a variety of skin tones. Like the yellow one um, might be good as a highlighter on sort of darker skin tones. Then there's a cream, like a bone color sort of. That would probably work on me. And then down here, there's three different sort of darker shades, which you would use to actually contour uh, rather than highlighting, which is up here. Probably for me, I would go for this one because it's the lightest one and it's very ashy. I like when they're not too warm tone because often like bronzers and stuff, they just don't really work for contouring that well because they're so warm toned. Ha! Ah, I feel like I've just been talking so much about all this stuff, but I'm super excited actually about these um, products by Anastasia. Um, I have seen them at Ulta. I'm not sure if you can get them. I think you can get them also at Sephora. Thank you so, so much to Anastasia. They sent me so much stuff and um, I actually can't wait to try out all these things like the contouring products and Oh, I'm just getting excited thinking about what I'm gonna use first. Thank you so, so much to Anastasia for sending that all through. Okay, so I am on to the last package of the day. 
My goodness, this has been a huge unboxing. I don't think I've unboxed this many products in one go. Okay, this is another L'Occitane item. Okay, so there's a new line coming out called Carité Fouetté, um, which has a new texture, apparently. It's supposed to be very creamy and fluffy and also very uh, nourishing. Yeah, I'm guessing that's just like a new formulation. Let's see. So this is the Crème, crème au Main Fouetté. So I think Fouetté means beaten, like... Almost like how you would, or whipped, I think it means whipped actually. Um, yeah, it says here, the whipped hand cream. Um, and yeah, so it has kind of almost like a texture sort of as if you're whipping up like whipped cream. Just a slightly different texture, but then when you actually um, like rub it into your hands, I mean, you don't really notice the texture, to be honest. So not, not quite sure what the point of it is. And then there's also in here, the Solidarity Soap and uh, oh yeah, these Solidarity Soaps are really cool. If you ever go into a L'Occitane store and you just make a purchase, pick up one of their Solidarity Soaps because they're not very expensive at all. They're like a couple bucks. 100% of the proceeds uh, go to charity. So this is basically like a charity item. Sorry, it is 100% of the profits. So of course they have some costs for making it, but all the profits that they make from it go to charity. Um, so it is basically like making a little donation to charity and you know, it's not, you still get something for it. Um, and they're just, oh, I love their soaps. This is just the Shea Butter Soap. Oh my God, this is so cute. They have, is this Braille? It looks like there's Braille on here. Awesome, that is so cool. So it says Shea and then it has Shea, I guess, written in Braille. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with like where it goes to, maybe it goes to like a blind. Yeah, oh my God, that's so cool. So yeah, the chair, 100% of these profits from this goes to um, blindness charity. So any kind of charity that helps people with blindness. That's awesome, I love that they had the Braille because to me immediately, like I could associate that with blindness. And yeah, if you do buy stuff from L'Occitane and you're at their store, look for one of the Solidarity soaps. They're not very expensive and you're making a little donation to a good cause and um, you get something, you get a nice soap in it. So that that is everything, my goodness. Is there anything left? Have I forgotten something? <laughs> it's just a mess now in front of me. I just wanna take a moment to thank all you guys who continue to watch my videos. Um, and you know, I really, you know, just appreciate, first of all, I appreciate you guys who are watching my videos because they've allowed me to do so much. I don't go to companies begging them for stuff. They contact me because, you know, they see that my videos are getting watched by a lot of people and, um, they want me to try out their products and hopefully use them in videos, of course. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know that all my opinions are always authentic. I think I've said that enough to know that you guys know that I'm just being honest. Like, my opinions are always kind of spur of the moment. Like, the ones that I say, I'm not, I don't have any text written out here of what I should say. And, and you know, like, I've said negative things about products um, from companies and I've said positive things and I just... I uh, want to let you guys know that you guys are my number one priority and um, I do definitely, definitely appreciate all the things that get sent to me, um, but I would I would still be doing these videos if I didn't have these things. Like when I started, when I started YouTube, um, I didn't really have very many products and I just kind of worked with what I had and made do. And the benefit is obviously having a lot of these different products is like being able to show you different things and also um, like I can do pretty much any look that I want and I know I will have some kind of product that will work for it. I don't have to go out and buy things necessarily. So it really does come in handy um, getting these PR items because it really does help me do my tutorials. <sighs> I feel like I'm losing my voice so I think I will end this with another bite from my, ooh look at the Bobby Brown lipstick. So I'll say goodbye now. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I appreciate you guys for leaving up um, thumbs up on this video and for leaving comments and stuff. And I hope these videos are helpful and just transparent and fun for you guys to watch. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at my next unboxing.